These walls were installed by Van Husco, Tennessee. <clears throat> have a built-in rebar you pull out to connect with the floor. <clears throat> built-in studs for sheetrock or plywood whichever you're going to use. <clears throat> this basement will be a workshop so it will be plywood on the walls. The orange stripes are where the rebar is. You'll pull them out before you pour the floor. Ten foot tall walls. Missing one corner stud for the sheetrock nailers. They're going to bring that next time they come up here. Walls are sitting on 10 inches of half inch clean stone. French drain underneath, probably six inches below where the floors sit. The header for over the garage door. You can see where it sets in that wall section there. And it sets in that wall section there. built-in lifting eyes here, pre-drilled holes for the seal plate uh, bolts. See the brick ledge here going up. <clears throat> Can see the water coming out of the wall. We have a little bit of a water issue here. 
in the French drain so far, keeping it all out of the basement. Blocks where the garage floor rests on. All the joints are caulked. Some of them they haven't finished yet. You look real close, you can see the orange line, the chalk line that they put down on the ground to mark the points for the wall, and they're dead on it. <clears throat> More water issues here on this side. And it rained. This is Wednesday. It rained this past uh, Sunday pass, and it rained hard. I'm standing on the French drain right now, walking around. You can see some of these seams right here, they have not put the caulking in yet. The metal straps are for the bricks. This will be the view off the back porch. Okay, two-thirds done, Van Husco, Tennessee. This builds in Soddy Daisy, Tennessee.